All right, so hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Upload Past Crossroads. And if you're watching on Chaplin Logs, that's Justin Lee's house YouTube channel. That's him right there. So Einstein, I'm Dr. J. Shantis for Jenkins. All right, so uh, yeah, I'll just go right into it, man. I'm gonna just start with the photo. I feel like that will bring the lesson home, and just everybody has a visual of uh, what I'm, what we're gonna be talking about. But uh, yeah, I saw this photo today. Oh, well, I saw it probably three days ago or two days ago. I saw this photo and it just touched me so much. So I saw it on Instagram. Uh, somebody posted it, obviously. And I'm going to post it on my social media platforms, but I'm scared to post it because I already know I'm only going to get like 50 likes or 60 likes, maybe 100 if I'm lucky. But <laughs> it's not something that uh, Christians really like focus in on like that they only want to see stuff that has god and jesus on it like literally the word god and jesus and if it doesn't have that on there then uh yeah they don't think it's biblical which is sad but <laughs> yeah this this picture touched me so much but yeah justin what were your first thoughts with this photo man i thought what instantly came to my mind was like matthew chapter six uh okay. it's like don't worry about tomorrow like who just to paraphrase, like who can add a year onto the life uh, by worrying? So I like that God does call us to concentrate on the day, like own today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. But this guy in this picture is just worrying about a little bit of work at a time. Like mm -hmm. I think it's really, especially nowadays, like we get paralyzed by um, all the things that we have to do uh like all the work we have to do because like i feel like people are very aware that work is never ending but the, on the only way you can actually get stuff done is just by concentrating on it one day at a time right. yeah, did you have any more bible verses that came mind, or just like stuff that you thought about with that photo oh uh, not with that photo specifically i had some more stuff based on like maintaining yourself like the topic you were talking about i think like yeah. maintaining yourself is definitely like a it's a it's a daily struggle like uh jesus calls us jesus in luke 9 says uh whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take take up their cross daily and follow me like it's definitely not something we just decide on a whim like you this guy didn't just um didn't just choose to make a wall a great wall on a whim he's been working on it each day of his life mm -hmm. so it's something you have to each morning and make that choice it's and that's the same for like anything that we do like to be a good husband like a lot of people say a lot of people who might go through a divorce or who feel like they're um drifting away from their partner they say oh i just fell out of love but like any any real man should know that relationships can't be built on feelings because they're very transient. They have to wake up each day and decide that they're going to love their wife. Like that's that's not taking the romance out of it by making it less emotional. That's making it more romantic by showing the commitment man has. And I think mm -hmm. that applies for a lot of stuff, for your job, for your relationships, for uh, family. You have to like make the daily choice to put in the work that you need to each each and every day like you right. don't need to be paralyzed by fear you don't need to be worrying about tomorrow you just make that decision day in and day out and just set one block at a time yeah yeah and that's the whole entire point of this video so guys well i the goal with this video was and i asked justin if he could help me do a video on just maintaining so how do you maintain what you have or what you're trying to get right how do you upkeep that's the word upkeeping the dot and I, I, I titled the lesson the daunting task of upkeeping because this is where i find myself in like when i saw this photo it literally solidified what i'm going through and what i'm trying to do and this comes in many ways in life so in order to be great at something in order to achieve success is something that you have to do you have to do something on a daily basis and you have to be consistent mm -hmm. at it and you got to be you gotta have such a drive and, and a commitment, such a will to do it 
that you don't give up doing it, right? So like there's certain things and certain areas in your life that if you kept if you kept at it, if you didn't give up at it, if you kept on being consistent and not giving up no matter what happens and not letting anything phase you, some powerful things can happen, right? So like with this post, the superpower of doing a little every single day. So just to like go all over the place a little bit, we gotta get some examples. So just just imagine if you never mowed the lawn, what your lawn would look like. If you never mowed the lawn, what your lawn would look like. It would look awful. I'm pretty sure snakes will be in it. You know, I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of flies and a lot of insects you ain't seen before coming up in the yard and probably creatures like, you know, just stuff coming up in your yard that shouldn't be in there, right? You have to cut your grass. You have to maintain it. You have to keep at it. You have to be diligent with it. You can't just neglect it. Same thing with a house. Just imagine if we, uh, if we, everybody's in a house right now, right? So just imagine if somebody hit all your windows out so you have no windows. You leave for 20 years well, and nobody did anything to the house. What would be in that house after that? <laughs> you, 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 is nothing going to be in it? You know, like, no, there's going to be stuff in there, right? So, like, <laughs> and this talks about investing. So, I, you know, I always want to invest. You know that, Justin. And people that know me know that. So, yeah, mm -hmm. like, I love investing. So one thing I've been doing is since I've been out of student loan debt, since I've been out of uh, paying the IRS money, so I'm out of debt completely. Um uh, I've been investing my money, so it's a dream come true. So I'm doing ten dollars to five dollars a day on cryptocurrency. So on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some other altcoins, but my main focus is with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin's projected to go to five hundred thousand dollars. Like it's already been to seventy thousand, which is cropping on every other stock, right? Then it's it's already um <laughs> it's already uh, Maya just sent me a text message or something. But it distracted me, my bad. But yeah, and then Ethereum, man, it's at $3,000. It's projected to go to 10000 real soon. So like all these cryptocurrencies, it's like the tech bubble back in 2000. So anything could happen. All of them will go up. But which ones are going to last? So like you really have to be diligent in figuring that out and everything like that. But yeah, man, like with this photo, it really talks about like the power of investing. Warren Buffett's is where he's at today because he dollar cost averaging the thing. So ten dollars a day, five dollars a day, that's dollar cost averaging. Because it could you could get in at anywhere if you do that. And so no matter where how low it goes or how high it goes, you're positioning yourself in a great position every single day where it looks like this. So where no matter where it goes, if it goes up a lot, you're gonna make a lot. Even if it doesn't, you're gonna make a lot, right? Because it's bound to go up, right? Just depending on what you if you invest in the right things, right? So like this photo talks about that, man. It also talks about like you know relationships. You know, like if you don't put any work towards a relationship, what's you know how? You, <laughs> and that's the question, man. Like whatever you have in life right now, can you keep it? Right? You have it, but can you keep it? And that's with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like it could be with your work, with your career. With the your money in your bank account, like my dad he used to always brag. He don't do it no more, but like when he wanted to humble me and my older brother, I'll just talk about me and him because he really ain't do it to my younger siblings. When he wanted to humble us, he always talk about how he was a millionaire and how much he money he had. I mean, because me and Vaughn saw him, like we experienced it with him a little bit. So like, but did you keep it, Dad? You know where is it at now? Where is my piece of the pie? Right? It's so, like. <laughs> Apparently, you're not as smart as you say you are, because if you were, you would have tripled it. You would have quadrupled it. You would have, you know, became, a, you know, what I'm trying to say a billionaire or something. Right. So, like, if you could, he's nowhere near that now. But like, what happened? Right. Can you keep it? Right. So, like, same thing with your education, like pursuing that degree. Can you keep on doing it? Can you continue doing it? Right. So, uh, yeah, with yeah. marriage. You know, you brought up marriage and romance and stuff. So the same thing. But yeah, were well, you going to say something? I was just saying, yeah, that's a good point. Like, especially with money. Like, if you inherited, like, a million dollars and you, like, uh, and you just, like, you have to spend a little bit of it each and every time, unless you upkeep it, you're going to run out of that million dollars really soon. Mm -hmm. I think that's the same with a lot of things in life that we might take for granted. 
like we feel like the challenge is to like obtain something but now i feel like the biggest challenge is like keeping a hold of something as well right like once you get married like once you find a girl once you get married like that's you don't instantly win then suddenly that's a new challenge of making sure you can keep your wife mm -hmm. like once you get a job that's not the end like now the challenge is to make sure that you do a good job and be able to keep it so like actually obtaining something is not the end goal because like suddenly it's it's a new challenge just to keep everything that you have like, to keep the gifts and the blessings that god has given you mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to comment to people. It's either commenting on YouTube. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, while you're typing, I'll bring up a verse that I, that didn't make me think about uh, uh, the lesson as well. It's like, uh, oh, hold on. I'll list it for a moment. It's like First Thessalonians 5. Uh, like, you are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate, and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Like we, we can't be asleep, we, we can't be lazy about these things. We actually have to be awake we have to be alert we have to be um be on alert of the thief that comes in the night mm -hmm. like if we if we've attained something we can't we can't be sheeple we can't be um in the dark about these things we have to be very aware of what we have and like how we keep it and how we maintain it or how we take care of it like right. we like we're not called to be lazy like once we receive salvation then it's the process of sanctification. We're suddenly on that pathway to improve ourselves. Like, that's a never ending battle. Like we, we, we shouldn't be happy with where we're at. Like you can be content, but we shouldn't be complacent about those things. Right. <laughs> content, but not complacent. Like yeah. we are like, we're again, I, I feel like I'm saying this way too many times, but it's so true. We make a daily commitment to do these things to make mm -hmm. sure that we don't fall asleep at the wheel. We have to be a, awake we have to be um we have to be energized if we want to keep going through that marathon that paul calls us to do right man that is so crazy man like one verse i thought about just with this discussion because i think i did a good job like just introducing it um it's luke ch uh chapter 14 verse 28 that's when Jesus says everything has a cost. So count the cost, right? Mm. So I want to read that whole section, but I'm just going to focus on that verse. So Luke chapter 14, verse 28 says, suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? So, so many times in life, we we're, we're, you know, we apply for jobs that it's not applicable to us. We're not suited for and we're just going on a whim applying for different things but you ain't done the work to get that job right everybody wants to be a millionaire or something but you ain't done the work you ain't done the upkeeping to be able to handle being a millionaire like can you keep the million dollars what are you gonna do with it you know like so like shortcuts in life like that is so powerful man because the bible talks about rushing and shortcuts a lot one of my favorite verses is i always mention on my youtube channel is proverbs 21 5 it says good planet and hard work leads to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts only leads to poverty. So mm. you rush in life, you take shortcuts, it's going to lead to poverty. You know, if you try to, you know, cheat your way through life, it's going to lead to poverty, man. Like just, you know, even just getting getting lucky, right? Like winning a lottery or something. It could lead to poverty because, like, you don't know how to manage what you got, right? So, like, can you maintain and keep up with what you get and what you have man like that's some questions i had i said can you keep can you keep up with the upkeep so can you mm -hmm. keep working even when you don't want to work right can you keep doing that task you know loving your wife loving your spouse when they're not lovable right you know uh you say you wanted children are you just going to neglect them when they you know don't come out the way you want it or like when they mm -hmm. do something wrong or don't you know like let's say they have a sin that's you know, bring shame to you. Are you just going to not love them anymore? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
the upkeep. Mm. Like that is so powerful for a Christian because like it, here goes some quotes I had. Like one quote I've just posted, I tweeted it actually, so I can share my screen and show my Twitter page. Um like I literally just tweeted it. Yeah, I said this right here. You either quit or keep going. They both hurt. Right? So that goes back to that photo, man. Like we know the right thing to do, but will you do it? Right? We know the the easy way out. Are you gonna do that? Because they both hurt. You know, they both gonna cost you in the long run. But what, count the cost. What cost do you want? Like everything has a cost. It could be a positive cost. It could be a negative cost. But every pro has a con, and every con has a pro, right? So like, you gotta weigh what cost you want to make. That 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 just that chapter in the Bible is so powerful. Like that that Bible verse, man. Like, yeah. So, and something else I was gonna say is uh, everything takes work. Like a lot of people have been saying that to me. Like. No matter what I try to do, like in my career, because that's actually where I'm at right now, just trying to figure out what I want to do for work the next few years, because I have so much experience as a quality assurance tester, so a manual tester, software tester, all that stuff. But like, I, I mean, I'm good at it. I've done it for years, but I want to do something I love. You know what I mean? Like, if I gotta work every day. Yeah. For the rest of my life, like I want something I'm passionate about. Like I feel like game testing would be fun. But like all of them don't really pay like that. Like you expect, I don't know what they expect. Little kids to do it or something. I don't know. So there's people hiring for game testers. I'm I'm down, man. I got so much. I'm such a great great tester. But like, you know, preaching, motivational speaking, that's my thing. That's what I want to do. Mm. But like, I have to make a living just in case, right? So <laughs> like working like Paul working tenses. Yeah. But it's a bad, yeah. Yeah, man. And that's that's what I'm talking about, man. Like every. The upkeep, man, maintaining. Like, I have so many stuff I'm juggling now. And I have to put in effort in every area now. So, like, with, you know, me getting my preacher's license and actually trying to become a preacher in an African Methodist Episcopal Church. Like, that takes work. Like, I can't just not, like, do anything. If I if I do, I'll, I'll never get anywhere, right? <laughs> like, they'll, they'll kick me out or something. I don't know. And then same thing with work. Like, I can't just not. I hate my project I'm on right now, Atlas. Wasi, like it's it's the worst and biggest project I've ever been a part of. It's so much like everything's daunting. That's why I titled the lesson the daunting test of upkeeping because like I have to keep up with it. Like, and I don't have time like to do this kind of project. I need something quick to test, easy to test that I could just knock out 20, 20 tickets without thinking. But like with this one, I gotta like calculate the cost, calculate everything. Like I have to really like challenge myself it's a challenge basically right and that's just mm -hmm. with that i mean mention like maya like she takes work i mean she's the greatest girl ever like you know but it takes work in a relationship man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like and that's just with that i mean mention social media like posting every single day like i know people don't know what that takes like i follow unfollow people that takes two hours a mm -hmm. day for five accounts on twitter like 400 people on five accounts that's two thousand people i think yeah right then like, it's just too much stuff. I'll just stop. Like I keep on going, but like I'm building. That's that's the whole point of why I want to do the video, man. Cause like this is what it looks like when you keep doing the right thing. When you keep doing the things you really don't want to do, but it's the most beneficial thing. Like this is what it looks like when little by little, day by day, you do what it takes to, you know, level up. Basically, you know, like you're being faithful to the to the call that God's called you to. And this is what it looks like for everybody right if you're just diligent and now people may not see it but it's gonna show like behind closed doors you know what i'm saying so yeah man like that's why i want to do this lesson like uh here goes a few quotes like i have that i'm gonna post with this uh with this picture i'll just share it with the with everybody I want, i'll show my hand what i'm reading from <laughs> but yeah like here goes some quotes you know little by little a uh, little becomes a lot so like that goes back to investing, like I was mentioning. I'm gonna use my screen brush so everybody can really see what I'm going at. Do I need to enlarge it or can you see it, Justin? Do I need I mean, yeah, I, I could use an enlargement. Sure if my Let's see. Okay, let me make it larger then. Because part of my screen's taken up by our face, but I don't think everyone sees that. All right, so I zoomed in. 
Dang, a lot. <laughs> I know, I know for sure people can see that. Now I gotta find it. <laughs> I zoomed in so much it went away. All right, here it is. All right, I'm gonna use my screen brush. I haven't done this with you in a long time, uh, Justin. Using my screen brush, man. Mm. All right, so here goes one quote. Little by little, a little becomes a lot right here. So and then another quote I had, a little progress each day adds to big results. Small improvements over time lead to massive gains, right? And then consistent action creates consistent results. That is so powerful right there. Mm. So it's all about action. Like people, you can pray all you want. You can, you know, shout all you want, like, Lord, you'll do it. But at the end of the day, it's going to take a little work on our behalf as Christians, you know, even as non-Christians. It's gonna, it takes work to be successful, to make it anywhere in life. And like, it's the upkeep, it's the action, the consistency that leads to the results that we want to see in life. So, yeah, like I'm seeing the results I want to see, but I really want to see those like grand, massive gains. You know, the ones I've dreamed of. And I'm only going to get there with consistent action, like continually showing up little by little, day by day, doing what I need to do. And I actually talked about that on a YouTube video. Oh, I remember. So, Justin, I guess we tied in and we're focusing on the photo now. So I guess it's one video in one, <laughs> like, you know, like we said earlier. But um, you remember in a book of Exodus, we did a lesson on. We, I don't know if you were a part of that lesson, but when we were done with the book of Exodus, we said what our favorite parts were in the book of Exodus. Like oh, what, yeah. what touched us most in the book of Exodus. Do you remember that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And my favorite was uh, when God said he, he's going to give the Israelites the land little by little. Like he's not going to give the Israelites the land in one big swoop because, <laughs> you know, their enemies could consume them because they're not ready to take the land, right? There's too many enemies mm -hmm. to face. They're not ready for all the battles. And that's the thing. God wanted to prepare them. So, like, it was just too much of a daunting task for them to handle it all right now. Like, God has the capability of giving us all the blessings that we'll have in this life right now. So, like, if I'm supposed to have six kids, he'd give me six kids right now. If I'm supposed to be married, he's, he can make me married right now. You know, and preaching, like we know I want to preach and everything. He could do that right now, but it's the prepar it's uh, the weight is all preparation for you know for him be making you into the image that you need to be before you get there. So yeah, man, little by little. That was my favorite. Uh yeah, that was my favorite part. Yes, Exodus 23, 20 through 33. Why is there an ad on my YouTube? Stop doing this to me. <laughs> if you're not paying me, don't do it. Yeah, it was this video right here. But yeah, with that text, it touched me so much, man. Because mm. yeah, guys, Lily said, I'm not going to, y'all, I'm not going to occupy the land in one swoop. It's going to take work. Like, that's the thing. It took yeah. work for them to obtain the promised land. It wasn't easy. Just that, mm. just that alone. I mean, that's the same thing. Like, God gives us. Just what rain, he does it in all areas of life, right? So even with rain, I talked about all this in this video, but with rain, um, you know, he gives us one raindrop at a time because if he gave us all the rain that we need for that day, it would literally probably flood the earth. Like, so yeah. <laughs> that's not how God operates, man. So like, yeah, the upkeep, man, maintaining, man, like mm -hmm. it's part of the process that that we all need, man, so. Yeah, I, I had a, a little bit more to say about that, but I'll let you go if you had anything else, Justin. Uh, not too much. I just had the, uh, what did I have left? Like, um, it, this also kind of reminds me, like Hebrews 10, 24 through 25. Like, it says to let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. Like that, that just makes me realize that we are on borrowed time as well. And there's like several ver other verses as well. But I like this one because like we're called, like God wants us to, God wants us to like do good in the short amount of time that we have. And like we don't have to worry about 
how long we have or what time periods we have to work with. God just wants us to concentrate on one day at a time and to use that day for good. Like, what are we going to, if you knew you were going to die tomorrow, like, what would you do with that, uh, with your life that day? Like, you're going to use it for something, right? You're not going to, like, waste it watching Netflix or uh, window shop or stuff like that. No, you're going to, like, try to make something of yourself. You're going to try to um, be a better person than you were the day before. Mm -hmm. And I just, there, man, there are just too many verses to name about like how God wants us to use each and every day and how uh, we have an obligation to be the best versions of ourselves. But, and uh, that verse just clicked for me for this lesson because we, we, our, our goal really is to be the best version of ourselves. Like a little bit, be a crazy goal, but it's just, maybe it's just like laying one, one block at a time yeah mm. yeah man and there's like so many examples in life that you know refer to this like i didn't get to say them all i use you know mowing your lawn you know keeping up with your house so that could be vacuuming taking out the trash and stuff like that yeah that's and a lot. Also, yeah but you know how I, I was giving examples of like me taking care of myself like doing what i need to do right like all the mm -hmm. all the stuff i gotta do for work for ministry family everything like my mom always freaking tells me to do something every time i come in the house that's why i need to get out of my mom's house my dad's house. My parents. Uh, <laughs> but like like every second man too like i got stuff to do man but anyways um you know it's another task i gotta do and be consistent at, and i can't neglect it is just imagine if you didn't work out or exercise at all what will happen to your body like there's so many overweight people and some people are naturally overweight but i mean when I say overweight, I mean like, like them shows, man. Like, there's no way, there's no way yeah. somebody should be that big. But I can't even talk about them. You know what I mean? Because yeah, at, yeah. <laughs> at least they're still alive. But like, you know what I mean? Like, cause like for me, I'm having heart problems a little bit. So like, I have to exercise. So like, yeah. I have to run and stuff. Cause my heartbeat is not. My heart is not. My blood pressure and heart rate has all have always been fast even when I ran track and played football. For me mm. not doing anything, I think that would lead to me having a heart attack or something. So everybody just pray for me. But like, yeah, man, like I already know, like if I don't do anything at all and I don't upkeep keep and just take care of my body and maintain it, then yeah, man, my heart and my blood pressure are just going to go bad. So like, mm. and that's just with that, you know, like same thing for like not brushing your teeth. Like, just imagine you never brush your teeth another day in your life. Mm -hmm. What happened to your mouth? Like, people died back in the day from not brushing their teeth, like, <laughs> and taking yeah. care of their teeth. So, yeah, man, it's just so many examples. But, like, that's the way, it's, that's what sin sucks, man. That's another thing I was going to say. Like, because of sin, we got to, like, everything takes more effort, I feel like. It's way yeah. harder. Because I feel like if, if sin, if we never ate from the tree, right, I don't think we would have had to, like, brush our teeth. You know what I mean? Or or mm -hmm. uh, exercise. I think it would just been natural, right? That's like one less mm -hmm. thing we got to worry about. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but no, I don't know how it works. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, but no, that's not how it works. We fell. Right. Yeah, and then not washing your body at all, too. Like, I, I learned what, what... I used to not ever wash my face when I was a kid. Oh, like, really? Yeah, yeah. You know how your, your parents washed you up when you were real little? And yeah. then once you reach that certain age, they let you do it yourself. So yeah. I used to never wash my face for at least, <laughs> for at least when I was like five to about. Well, okay, let's let's be real. About seven to about <laughs> had to be in eighth grade, so thirteen. So I had like bumps on my face, and my face looked like the moon. So it looked like I had meteorites all on my face, man. It was it was bad, man. Like. I was so I had so many bumps when I went up to little babies they cried like they thought I was the ugliest thing ever so <laughs> yeah I'm glad the bumps left cause from me washing my face then I got bumps on my back like but black marks mm. you know how you got black marks from pip uh, popping zits and stuff oh yeah so, yeah man like cause I used to never wash my back either like mm. I used to just wash my my rest of my body but I never washed mm. my put soap on my back and wash it so like upkeep man maintaining so. If you don't do that, there's consequences for it, man. Like there's yep. cost for everything. So 
that's the point of this video, man. Like, mm -hmm. I think I said everything I want to say, man. But, but yeah, if you really want something, that yeah, my last point is if you really want something and you really care about it, and if it's really meant to be for you, you're gonna do everything it takes to keep at it. You know, you're not gonna quit. You're gonna keep pressing on. You're gonna have perseverance for it. You're gonna have the will to win, right? So mm -hmm. whatever everybody's pursuing and doing, I hope that you got that right. You you. You'll suffer through anything to make it happen. So that's how you know, like, God's calling you to do it. He's calling you to maintain it and upkeep with it, especially if you want to do it, right? It'd be different mm -hmm. if you had no urge to do it at all. So maybe I should yeah. stop working at the company I'm working at with this project. But anyways, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, man, I just wanted to go ahead and share all those thoughts, man. So thanks for helping me do the video, Justin, for real. Yeah, of course. Oh, mm -hmm. my last point. Yo, go ahead. I was just saying, yeah, I think that's all the verses I had on short notice. Okay. Yeah, man, it was real short notice. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I feel like we we uh, definitely uh, busted out some good stuff for, like, uh, short notice like that, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, here goes one last quote, too. To be great at anything takes sacrifice. And I also said what else it takes, like, in, throughout the video. It takes will, determination, commitment. So to be great at anything, it takes drive, sacrifice, all that stuff, man. So mm. did you see the comment section at all? Like, uh, yeah. Steph, Steven said uh, the scripture verse that came to his mind was Matthew 6, 33. Matthew 6, 33. Oh, uh, was that the one about uh, keeping, like, uh, first and foremost, like we uh, seek the kingdom? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, seek you first the king of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added on you. Yeah, that one. But yeah, man. Everybody, thanks for commenting. You guys rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get comments, man. On, uh, yeah, no, popular. On YouTube. But yeah, man. All right, so that's the end of this video, guys. We're not going to keep you. We'll keep this one short. 30, 30 minutes, Justin. You see this, man. 30 minutes. We, we actually, yeah. We actually kept that on time pretty well. <laughs> All right. So you guys rock for commenting. Thanks for watching this video through. All right. So, guys, if you like this channel, you like this video, if you like us doing videos like this, you feel like this was amazing, y'all can message us and DM us any questions you guys have. Or if y'all have Instagram posts that you guys like and you want me to do a video on it, you want me and Justin to talk about it, just DM me again or DM Justin and tell us you want us to do a video on that post and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the Bible or anything, you know, DM us again. But yeah, this is the YouTube channel where uh, I do my best to to just bring the Bible to life. And Justin does the same too, actually. That's why he's, me and him gel so much. But we do our best to bring the Bible to life, make the Bible real, and just paint such a great picture that you can't deny God's truth, man. So that's, God's truth is what's gonna prevail and last forever. It's, and it's the only thing that all these lies of earth, all the distractions, it's not going to last. It's all going to burn in the fire. So his truth will always last. So we want to know what the truth is. And so, we, yeah, we're trying to store treasures in heaven, man, all of us. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, share my YouTube channel with anybody you think that's going to like this. Oh, I got to share my screen and let you know what my YouTube channel name is, just in case you're watching somewhere else. Because um, actually, I put this on, uh, I put my, our our talks and stuff just and like this i put it on my podcast mm. so you guys no. i'm on every podcast platform apple podcast google uh chromecast or something something like that uh <laughs> uh google podcast i'm on every every platform just about spotify so upload past crossroads that's my youtube name and podcast name sean christopher jenkins facebook linkedin uh twitter snap instagram tiktok trouble don't last follow me on there y'all you guys like on my post and then my other instagram page is my underscore daily underscore bible my tumblr trouble don't last number one all right guys you guys will love my the stuff i post on there it's awesome and then you guys make sure to uh subscribe to justin future channel chaplain logs I'm, I'm beginning to upload more videos uh on his youtube channel as well so there's stuff to watch on there but yeah guys thanks for tuning in and uh, you guys have a rest, a great rest of your night, your evening, and kick butt at your work, at your job, at your upkeeping. I pray in Jesus' name that God helps you to maintain it all and so that 
so that he can bless you with more. That's the whole point. That was the thing. We missed that one. <laughs> Something just came to my mind. Yeah. The talents. The talents. That's what came to my mind. And the, the ten virgins. The, t- the ten virgins. Oh. There's five virgins that kept up with the candle and kept on kept the oil burning and going. Oh, and then the yeah, other- that would have been a good, yeah. <laughs> The other five just for a second, and their candles went out. And the whole goal was the master told them to keep their candles lit for my return and be ready for my return. But five virgins didn't think he would return, would return. And so then they never made it to the party. So, anyways, guys, you want to make it to the party? I pray in Jesus' name you make it to the party. Me and Justin make it to the party. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. We're out. Peace. All right. Y'all stay blessed. Grace and Steven, y'all are awesome. And I know my girlfriend watched too. Thanks, babe.